Hey guys, Tyler here with eSporter, here today to show you how to get set up with 17 lands on your Mac. So let's get into it. Uh, first things first, you'll want to go to 17lands.com where you'll find this page, their home page, and you'll see the blue button that says start tracking. You can go ahead and click that and it will bring you over to their getting started page. Now, the first thing you'll need to do if you don't already have a 17 lands account is go ahead and register for one with that link. I've already got an account here, so I'm going to go ahead and log into my account uh, with Tyler at esporter.win. Um, but you can go ahead and set one up. It takes just a couple of seconds to get started. Now, once you are logged into 17 lands, you want to go back to the getting started page. And you can see the first thing that we need to do, uh, the next thing we need to do is to enable detailed logging for MTG Arena. So that means we'll want to go into Magic, click on the gear in the upper right hand corner, go to our account page and enable the detailed logs for plugin support. So I'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. If I hop into Magic the Gathering Arena right now and I go in the upper right hand corner, I have my options uh, wheel and I can go to this account page right here. Once that's open, you'll want to make sure that this detailed logs is checked. This should be selected and then you'll need to restart your client. So I'll go ahead and kick out and then exit the game right here. And then the next time you open the game, your detailed logs will be running in the background. That's what really enables 17 lands to go ahead and pull all the information from your drafts and from the games you play and provide logs that we're going to use throughout the course in our, uh, our hour long sessions, in our office hours to communicate around what we can do in drafts and how we can get better. So I'll go ahead and let that load in the background because the next thing you'll need to do for the Mac under step three is to go through a couple of different instructions in order to set everything up. Uh, and for 17 lands, the client can be installed the easiest way through Homebrew. And if you've never used Homebrew before, Homebrew is just a system on top of the Mac terminal that makes it really easy to manage the things that you have downloaded on your Mac. It's something that developers use all the time. And if any of you are into software development, you may already be using Homebrew, but I'll go ahead and take you down from the top as if we've never used it before. So first things first, you want to open your terminal. That's uh, this application right here. You can also find it by clicking on your search and just typing in terminal. That will be the thing that comes up first. You can hit enter and then you'll see that you have your command line right here where you can type commands. Now this is saying first thing, if you've never used Homebrew before, you can install Homebrew first. So here you'll want to copy this link that they've provided for you right there. And you'll want to paste that into your terminal and hit enter. You may be asked for your password here. Uh, and if you are, you'll just need to type in the password that you use to log in to your Mac, the, the actual Mac itself. Now, when you're typing this password, you're not gonna see anything changing on screen. So just uh, make sure that you're typing in your password correctly and hit enter when all's done. So I'll go ahead and type mine in right now. And hit enter. And once you've done that, you can see that Homebrew has started its install. I'll click enter again and everything will go through. And uh, when everything is said and done, you'll see it's loading for a while. It'll let you know, hey, Homebrew has been installed successfully. So we'll give this just a moment. We'll let that load up. All right, and you can see when I've loaded up Homebrew that I've got this little warning at the top. It's something that we're gonna wanna take care of really quick where it says that Homebrew is not in your path. Really easy to resolve. You can see under here, we have next steps. We can run these two commands in the terminal to add Homebrew to the path. So first we have this echo command and then we have this eval command. So first let's copy echo and we'll go ahead and paste that into the terminal and hit enter that's done and then we can copy this eval command go ahead and copy that paste that in enter and we're done and now homebrew is in the path so that it will be able to work with all of uh, the applications on our system so now we can go back to the getting started page and we can take a look over at the next instruction we have this brew install and we can give that a copy and I'll just show you guys real quick. If we open up the terminal, uh, you can see brew help to get started. So if I type in brew help, 
Now brew is a valid command in my command line, and it will give me a bunch of different examples of things that we can do with homebrew. Um, so these are just little things uh, showing us that the installation went through okay and all the different things if you guys want to explore go ahead on your own but we're going to use this one right now brew install and you can see when we're copying this one from 17 lands it says brew install we'll go ahead copy that paste that into the terminal and hit enter and now we're installing all of 17 lands so this will come down, uh, load up in just a second, just like with the last one, you'll see when it's done. Uh, so even if it looks like it's not doing anything, just give it a second, it'll load in and, uh, and we'll be right back as soon as this is finished. Okay, and there we go. Looks like 17 lands is all loaded up. So the last thing that they recommend here is that we use homebrew to set the 17 lands client to run in the background. That's something that will want to happen when the computer turns on so that if you ever just start up magic and you start running a draft, 17 lands will record all that data for you and post it to your profile. That's definitely the recommendation that we here make at eSporter. We think that this is the best way to do it. Um, so let's go ahead and copy this um, line right here and paste that on in to the terminal. This is especially useful because 17 lands is widely considered the best possible tool to use alongside Magic the Gathering Arena limited play. Um, and so this will allow you to track your drafts and to look at your data even beyond the eSporter sessions that we're running today. It's an incredibly useful tool. Um, so now we can see here that we're looking for our client token from 17 lands. And this is something that we need to retrieve from our 17 lands account. So I'll go back on over to 17 lands, make sure that you're logged in. Uh, and then go over to your account, click on account settings. And under your account settings page, you'll see that you have a token here that you can use with 17 lands. You want to copy this token and you'll want to paste that into the box when prompted and click OK. And then you'll see in the terminal, you'll see the message that says successfully started 17 lands. So fantastic. We can go back to our getting started page and we can go on to the next step. Now it does say here, if you guys don't want 17 lands to start itself in the background, whenever you boot up your computer, um, you can also just start it manually each time. Uh, but just note that you will need to do this anytime before you start drafting for 17 lands to intake all of the data while you're drafting. Um, so the command to start 17 lands manually is 17 lands. That means that you'll be going into your command line terminal and you'll be typing 17 lands. And that will go ahead and run the service. Uh, but if you use that command that we just used in the past, 17 lands will be running itself in the background. And so that's all good. All right. And you guys can see here that uh, 17 lands may periodically ask you to update the client for bug fixes or new features. Uh, it's as simple as running the following command in the terminal. You can just copy this and paste it into the terminal like we did with all the other commands. As of today, you'll have the most up-to-date version of everything, seeing as we just downloaded everything. Um, but in the future, when there are updates, that's how you can run an update. And if you, uh, for whatever reason, want to permanently stop 17 lands from running in the background, you can always do so with your brew services stop 17 lands command. Again, you can come in, copy this, and paste it into your terminal. Um, if you're unable to use homebrew for any for any reason at all, uh, please contact us at eSporter. If there's any step in the process that you have any questions or concerns about, contact us in the help channel of the eSporter Discord, and we'll be able to help you out, walk you through everything, and talk you through anything you have questions on. Uh, always happy to help. And that's it. Uh, that's everything you need to get started. If you have any questions or concerns, again, please reach out to us in Discord. Otherwise, we'll see you out there on the battlefield. Thanks, guys.